Anybody want to press a little further? Anybody want to press a little further? Somebody lift your voice into the Lord. Tell him, God, I want to press a little further. God gives you your potential. The enemy sends trouble your way to stop your progress. If he can stop your progress, then he'll, you'll never reach your potential that God gave you. So he makes a fool, trying to make a fool out of God through you. Tell somebody to say, don't let the devil use you. Don't let the devil use you. Don't let them use you. Don't let them use you. I want to end this message by talking about four types of people. That no matter what situation goes on, we all fall in these four type of people. Uh, and I need you, if you got a pen or pencil, write this down after this message. Make sure you get this CD because you're going to need to hear this again. I want to talk about four types of people. All up in here, all of us up in here, trust me, you fall in one of these four categories. Four types of people when it comes to when going after what God has for you. You ready? Here we go. Number one, we got watchers. These are people that stand around and watch everything go down. They just watch it. They don't perceive it correctly, they watch it. These spectators sit around and watch, hoping that if they watch long enough, things are gonna go their way. They come toward life like a person goes to the theater. They come to be entertained. They watch marriage, but they never work on it. They watch their children, but they never put anything in them. They watch their church, but they don't work in the church, they just watch. It's getting quiet in here. They are simply watchers. Ladies and gentlemen, you will never become what God wants you to be as long as you remain a watcher. Standing on the side of the game, watching other people play, cheerleaders in the game of life, bringing your pom-poms to the game, thinking other people are more blessed than you, thinking other people have more favor than you. The Lord, tell, the Lord told me to tell you, drop your pom-poms, put on your jersey, and get in the game. And if you get, if you get in the game, God will open up the windows of heaven and pour you out a blessing you don't have room enough to receive. And besides, can I just give somebody a new slash? You get too old to be keep being a watcher. You running out of time to be a watcher. Uh -huh. Shoot or dribble, but you got to do something for God right now. We got waiters. They're very much like the watchers. They're very passive. They wait and see. They're the ones that sit on the fence. They don't get too committed. They just wait. They're always the ones getting ready, but never going. Y'all know I'm from the country. You would say, I'm fixing it. Fit them. Fix it too. They're the waiters. Waiters are people who stand outside of the situation waiting. Just waiters. And truth be told, they fall in love with waiting. They love waiting. You know why? Because waiting shifts the responsibility from you and says, if the Lord wanted me to have it, then he would give it to me. Today. Oh, I came in here strong today. If the Lord wanted me to do it, he would have done it for me. I'm just going to wait on the Lord. That way, you get to blame God. It's not my fault. God didn't bring it to pass. I was waiting. It's not my fault it didn't happen. I was just waiting on the Lord. Can I tell you something? You're not waiting on the Lord. Oh, you need scripture. Here we go. Because <laughs> you didn't believe me when I said that. Let me mess you up with just one scripture that we, we, we say it all the time. They that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. Uh -huh. And we stop right there and we don't go to that very next line. The very next line says, uh, they, they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. 
they, they don't sit back oh. passively because the scripture continues and say they mount up with wings like eagles. They run and are not weary. They walk and they're not faint. You can't sit back and cross your legs talking about you waiting on the Lord, sitting in your house needing a job, talking about you waiting on the Lord. What's, what, what? It's going to ring the doorbell and come looking for you? The devil is alive. You have to get up and go after what God wants for you. You have to be radical. You sitting waiting on a husband. You haven't left your house in five years. You run with a pack of women all the time. You never out there where anybody can talk to you. You don't put yourself in proximity to anybody. What do you think God is going to do? Send a man to your door and ring your doorbell? The devil is alive. You better get up out that house and take the rollers out your head and engage yourself in life. Waiting isn't passing. You got to be aggressive. Your presence, behold the beauty of your face.